Hi everyone, it's Chris from Build Images here. Today I wanted to talk to you about lens selection, which lens and for when. Essentially there are three lenses that you'll want to use uh, to give you that full zoom range when you're on site, whether that be for property or construction or even real estate photography. So this is the 16 to 35 mil lens. Uh, this is a wide angle lens, so which means it's the go-to for real estate photography and construction photography. Um, you, you need to have one of these if you're gonna do any of those. Um, basically what it does is because it's a wide angle, it means you can capture a lot more of the site or the, or the, or the house or the building, whatever it is that you're capturing. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a great lens for doing that. This is an f4, so um, aperture, so you don't need to get right in there um, and, and show depth of field because you're trying to capture everything. So f4 is, is enough for um, most real estate um, photography. Um, so I would highly recommend getting one of these for your site photography. Also a great lens if you're doing video work as well on site. As it, again, you can be panning sites um, and panning um, across the site and uh, allows you to capture large amounts of the site in that pan. Uh, so I would highly recommend this one. So this is the 24 to 70 uh, Canon L series lens. It's a great lens. If you only can afford one L series lens, I'd go with this one, the 24 to 70. Um, it, it's basically because it gives you a good range. While it's not wide angle and it's not as wide as the 16 to 35, it, it will, with a 24 mil uh, end, give you a good, a good range for the picture and fit a lot in. While at the same time, with a 70 mil, you can zoom right in if you're close enough to a subject and get that nice depth of field that is nice and crisp of the, on the subject and blurry in the background. So it's a really nice lens. Not only that, it's great for shooting people, um, great for portraiture. So if you're out on site and you want to get some shots of people doing their thing or you know, uh, you wanted to get them posing, for example, on a piece of machinery, uh, that's a, it's a great lens. With my other business profile booth, I, uh, this, was the, this is the lens that barely comes off the camera. Um, it's great for portraiture, great for group shots, and great for getting that, that detail also. So, fantastic lens. So here's the 70 to 200 mil lens. This is a fantastic lens. Uh, fantastic to look at and very impressive, especially with the lens hood on there. Uh, you know, you walk on site with one of these and um, it turns heads pretty quickly. Um, but not only that, it's, it is quite a heavy lens. Um, so what I recommend is, if you're gonna be on site for any extended period of time, that you don't hang it over your shoulders because you will get sore shoulders and, and back by the end of the day. Um, I recommend you put it in a, in a pack like this, um, which has a, a notch in it, so you can actually put that on your belt and um, you know pull it in and out off your belt. And it puts the weight on your hips rather than across your shoulders, so highly recommend you use one of those. Um, this lens is amazing. So it's 70 to 200 mil, as I said. So with a 200 mil zoom, you can, you can be 40, 50 meters away from the action, zoom right in and um, get some fantastic images. So it's great for a few reasons. One, safety wise, you can stand back. You don't have to be right in where the action's happening so you can get in there. Um, also, it allows you to get candid images because people are less likely to know that you're focusing in on them if you're that far away. Um, and the images you can get with being the 2.8 aperture um, is amazing depth of field. So which means you can get a tack sharp on the, on the um, subject that you're focusing on, whether that's a person or a bit of plant or whatever. And all the background is blurred out. So you can get some great shots. So highly recommend that if you're gonna do site or uh, construction photography that you have one of these in your kit. Uh, not cheap, but well worth the investment. So there you go, they're the top three lenses that you need to have in your tool bag if you're gonna do site photography, construction or, or real estate photography. Uh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below and uh, we'll catch you next time.